Hey guys, welcome back. It's Liv from Bem Gang. If you're new, make sure you like, share, comment, and most importantly, make sure you guys subscribe. Right now, I'm about to react to a hot streams video entitled, The Reason Your Girl Dresses Provocatively. Let's check it out. Just got an email. Title this email. <clears throat> He's so close. Girlfriend wearing provocative clothing. Okay. Oh, man. She getting cream pie, I know it. <laughs> <laughs> Already. Hi, Keith and Kevin. I love your channel. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. I'm glad you liked it. You, mm -hmm. you're glad you like. You're glad you like it, not liked it. What? what? Liked it is like past tense. That means you used to like it. Like it. Fuck it. <laughs> A girl I have feelings for. Girl, you have feeling for, feelings for. Know what that means? You got some nut busting history together. That's all that means. That's mm -hmm. all that means. You don't know what the hell feelings is. Yeah, youngster. You don't know what love is. You don't even you don't even know how to spell love. Really? You think love is spelled L <laughs> U V? <laughs> Shut up, man. Love is spelled L O B E. Love. A girl yeah. I have feelings for claims she felt the same way, and yet now it seems like every week she is trying to break up with me because she is not good enough. She's not good enough. Oh, huh? she one of those girls. She oh, said, she trying to say she ain't good enough for, for him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, she wanted so she them to break up. She might be telling too, man. She might be out there getting cream pot on the side of me. <laughs> Just make she might think she she's herself a tramp. You know? Maybe she is telling the truth. She always is. Maybe she's a no good dick sucking whore. <laughs> she always uses that in words like I'm broken to describe herself to me. I, what would she say she broken? Yeah. We, you know, man, that that's an excuse. Getting, man. I'm telling you right now, that's this girl like is anyway. a dirty girl. Yeah, man. She, she might broken. be having somebody in each office of her body at the same time. Oh, office. Yes. Orifice. Yeah. It's mouth. orifice. Yeah. It's orifice? Orifice. It's the braces. Orifice. That's what I said. Yeah, get the fuck off me. You can't talk. No braces. I'm broke. She always uses that in words like I'm broken to describe herself to me. Yeah, because she, she probably ain't done with a bunch of niggas, man. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> they probably do her ass in. I wonder if she is trying to sabotage what we have worked so hard what to What you build. talking about, man? What the hell you talking? <laughs> sabotage. Sabotage what you got. You ain't got nothing, man. You got what you got is, is you got a damn two-time whore in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> a two-time whore that's getting cream pie on the regular. Oh I wonder if she's God. trying to sabotage what we have worked so hard to build. And I, man, what, and what you, you still on that she's shit? Not, I just repeated it because you keep cutting me off. And I know that in the beginning, she really did care. Now she... No, she did Now she is... She going. don't care about your ass, man. <laughs> Well, there's some good actors, man. You fellas, man, y'all just, just, just got to learn the hard way, man. But females? He's so mad. Damn, there's some good actors, man. <laughs> they make you feel like a damn king, man. And they don't think this much about your ass. Guys, do the man. same thing. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Finish it up. Finish up the email, man. I wonder if she's trying to sabotage what we worked so hard for. Get the fuck off me. Man, you deal with your hand. Keep beating up just the back of my leg, man. Every time she says, take that big gorilla on, bitch. I got to get coffee. Look, I wonder if she's trying to sabotage what we've worked so hard to build. And I know that in the beginning, she really did care. Now she's going to bars wearing provocative clothing. When I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, man. Somebody got that nuts hanging out there, girl. Man. Read the email, her, man. Know that she but goes don't read it. Unless we have worked so hard to build and know. And yeah, you go with that so hard shit. <laughs> now she's going to bars wearing provocative clothing clothing when she swore that her body was mine and mine alone. Oh, I realized she lied to you. I realized it was her body and her clothing. I'm making too big a deal. Out of it, out of this, or should I be concerned that she's going to cheat on? What? Me? Even though she's, she's already in. cheating on that girl, getting cream pie at the ball, <laughs> man. If a girl's wearing provocative clothes and going to a ball, what? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know what that means, don't you? She's looking for attention mm -hmm. from, from the opposite else. sex or the same sex. And you know what that means, don't you? More cream pie action. <laughs> <laughs> 
Are you serious? You heard it here first. I told you. You heard it here first. What? Right here. Wait a minute. minute. You heard it here first, right here on Horse Twins. <laughs> I feel like she has fallen out of love and is trying to get tip elsewhere, but she says... Oh, she's getting some tips, some tip. swollen tip with some pre cut kind of. <laughs> But she says the only reason she goes out with her girlfriend is because they work together and her girlfriend is also her boss. I feel that this girl... Oh, man, it's a boss, man! ...is leading her astray. Am I right to feel this way? Look, man, the only time a girl dresses up and goes to a bar is because she wants to drink alcohol uh -huh. and she wants to get... <laughs> yeah, that's why you girls go to bars, man. Every a time. bar? A bar. bar you go to meet people, get wasted. Unless you're there. Like, they, made a song, they made a song about that shit, man. Jamie Foxx came out with a song with that. Blame it on the juice, right? Some shit blame like it on that. the alcohol. Blame it on it. something. That's what them women do, man. They like to blame it on that acky. That Acky. alcohol, man. But look here, man. But they know what they doing, man. They know when they go in that bar, they going to come out and they going to get rotted. Huh. Yes. No, they already know this. Shit. Okay, this is this is my experience. Then right. to him, man. Whenever you have a girl that doesn't wait a minute, give him the disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> you give it to him, man. No, but you give it to him, better, man. I, I can't even remember the disclaimer. The disclaimer, man. I don't remember. The disclaimer is this, man. All right? Now this damn information we're about to share with you is professional. It's right? so goofy. It is professional. Right. It's coming from two men that's experienced life. To the fullest. Right. And we're going to share that information with you, right? Yeah. But this shit is unlicensed. Just <laughs> <laughs> so got to throw that disclaimer out there. Look here, man. In all, in, in all seriousness. Yeah. Just use this girl for sex, right? Because yep. she's out there getting sex from other guys. Put a condom on. You can never have too many girls just laying around for you waiting to get just fucked. Yes, you can. You can never have too many of those. It is too many. Especially right. at your age, man. Just you just gotta be careful that you ain't just fucking no crackhead whores. Yeah, you got to all kinds of Ebola and all this shit. Yeah, you gotta make sure the girl you sleep with, or whatever, or how many girls you sleep with, you gotta make sure they ain't the fucking outbreak much. <laughs> right? And um, yeah, just outbreak use them for sex. Much. Put the Jimmy hat on, man. She I mean, is not your girlfriend. You shouldn't make her your girlfriend. You, yeah. If it was up to you, you would marry this girl and. While you at work, dudes be coming in and out of that place just yeah. cream pie the fuck out there. <laughs> the bartender from the bar she goes in there. Go cream pie both holes. Don't try he to go cream pie both the holes and leave. <laughs> Don't try to make a whore your wife, man. Because yeah. if you do, that's what that's what happens. And I, I know it hurts, man, that we call your girl a whore, man, but hey, she's dressing pro pro how you say it? Provocative. Provocatively. Provocatively, right now. That means she's looking for attention from the opposite sense. Which, you know, leads to more cream pies. That's true. I mean, so, there you go, there you anyway. It. There you go, man. The truth will set you free. You ready? Dude, like this in the back of the bar. Yeah. <laughs> Other dude behind him like this. Hurry up, man. I want something, man. <laughs> Let me get in there, man. Come on, man. Stop holding the sugar water, man. Like Come turn. on, man. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, yeah. Ah. Uh. Oh, let me get on. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, man, shit's tight. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh. I can't. I can't take them serious. I can't. I can't. Oh, my gosh. How would you guys feel if you knew your partner or you see your partner dressing provocatively, going to bars with their girlfriends, you know, coming home and doing whatever? Would you be upset? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Until next time, bye guys. Watching. See you next time.